Welcome to really the middle of nowhere. Kind of near the southeastern corner of Death Valley this weekend. About 37.8 miles down this long dirt road that's mostly pretty fast but has some slow sections. The sun's rising over there and today Bob and I are going to be heading for somewhere over here I believe. kind of looking back in the direction where I came from, from Highway 127. Makes sense, sun rises in the east. Even more mountains out there. Should be just about time to get started. Okay, cars are parked. Bright orange is turning to light orange. Sun's coming up and we're headed off this way. And Bob's already slipping. A little bit of cloud cover today. Not that way is where we're going tomorrow. Yep. Not what I expected this place to look like. Whole lot of desert nothing. Picked up a pretty well defined trail here. Based on the poop that's abundant here, I'm guessing we have the burrows to thank for the construction of this trail. Here's the burrow pass. But we're going up, so over here we go. The desert chasm strike again. That's where we're going and we gotta drop. Well, they said this is going to take all day. I think we were just up there. I was going to take the canyon, but Bob's taking the ridge. So I guess we're going to end up over here. Okay, that got a little slippery in places. Looks like no more big drop-offs, I hope. Probably not there, probably the one in the back. Pretty nice views from here. That's probably where we'll be tomorrow. And just over that little rise beyond the dry lake bed should be Death Valley. I should get a good view of it tomorrow. At least that's what we're hoping for. Still got about a mile to go, so pretty sure it's not right there. It may not even been the one in the back I saw earlier. Joshua trees. Must be getting higher. Well, about 4,500 feet. I think our first summit is about 5,000. I think that's Langley way out there. down the hill, probably a launcha. Yep, winter has come to the Sierra. That's why we're in the desert. Mm-hmm. Joshua trees on the 
this little plateau. Okay, that should be it there, finally. Gonna be right on the edge of this military base. Fort Irwin. Bingo. That's what we came here to see. A chunk of steel with letters stamped on it. Some good views though. So that's the direction we came from. This is looking down into the base. or by the mountains in between us. If I was going for the jacket, I think I will too. There's our entry. Only 11 days till Christmas. today. Alright, moving on. Bob says this rounded bump out here is a P900. So that's where we're going to head next. Before heading back to the cars which are over this way. I have a little use trail in this wash. gonna beat me up now. It's time for my whipping. Like a little lake bed. I'm not sure. Just barely skirting the boundary. There's no fence so we don't know exactly where it is but According by GPS, right on the edge. Keep finding little use trails here and there. A nice easy wash just got a little more interesting. Shouldn't be too hard to bail out if we need to. Back to easy again. Our mountains come back into view. I think we're gonna want to take this little left turn coming up here. We end up staying in the main wash. So I guess we do need to go a bit south to get to this summit. There it is again. Looks like we're starting to come out more into the flat area. I think we're gonna turn left here and cut across to, because that should be where our peak is. started to climb that I just noticed some shiny stuff over here. It might be some kind of wreckage.
It didn't look like plane wreck. More like a big sign. Made in Denver. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of code. Huh. Little ridge lines are connecting together nicely. So much for our nice connecting ridge lines. Had to take a few big drops lately. A little side hilling. No more easy strolling, that's for sure. Looks like we're just about there. With an antenna on the top. size antenna. It's nice that it's really flat. You can't see us from up here. Yeah. Is that the high point there you think? That's what we're going to call the high point. For lack of a better way of measuring. View from this end. I guess I came in from way over there somewhere last night. Drove through all this. Lake bed sure sticks out like a sore thumb. Probably Telescope Peak back there. Should be Death Valley. Nice little descent we got here. We're going to try to pass through that gap right over there this direction. It's a little more impressive from this side. Interesting little band of red up there too. Reach the top of that wash. Looks like this one's going to take us in the right direction for a little while at least. I think it's going to curve too far away from the car. So we'll have to bail out eventually. Came quite a long ways today. We're still over four miles away from the car. That's in a straight line. And those are kind of zigzags we're going to have to do to get through this desert. Well, at least it looks fairly gentle. No huge ups and downs. 
Well, I do see a canyon over here. Okay, we are now officially walking against the green. So this is the wash I picked out that's kind of going in the right direction. Looks like it's going to work so far. This is working out very nicely. Oh, I gotta love these desert trenches, chasms, what have you. At least down is what we need to do. We still need to go more to the left though. It's like a pretty straight shot. Oh, I see them. The cars. Thought they were over another hill. But there they are. Still over a mile away. Okay, we're back. Bob's done for the day, but he's cheering me on to go do Owl Benchmark. That big guy back there. I guess you can drive to where that little tower is right there. He said it's about a 30 minute hike from there. So we'll give it a try. All right, now there's a hike for the day. And yet I'm still going for more. Okay, I almost got to the tower. I stopped because, not because the road was too rough, even though it did get rougher, finally. But I think I have to walk back this way anyway. It's over this way. This will definitely be an interesting little puzzle. How to get there while dropping minimal elevation. Looks like there should be a way. Should make more sense as I get closer. I've reached my first saddle that I was trying to get to. There's Owl Benchmark. Looks like that right over there will be the next saddle I want to get to. Use trail's doing pretty well. Looks like it's dodging this hill in the right way. It's possibly looking down at a China Lake over there. I said I'd wave to Joel, but I think he's off today. Looking good. Okay, here we are. Death Valley's up there. Our peaks for tomorrow are over here. And I guess our peaks from today are over here. First little hill I climbed. I 
benchmark is right there. A little ways down from the high point. Which is like over here somewhere. Yep, it says owl. Guess we're in the right place. Just came over to visit this other little bump on the side. Slightly lower than Owl Benchmark. You can see over into this valley a little bit better in that lake bed. Looks a little more flat from here. Looked like it was on a slope when we were looking at it earlier today. Sun's gonna set pretty soon. clouds. Doesn't last long. Okay, that should be the final total for today. No wonder my legs are tired. They're not used to this anymore. <laughs>